Dear students, we were exploring different options and groups in Home Ribbon in Microsoft Word. And today we will be focusing on Paragraph Group. And some of the options available in Paragraph Group will be covered in this module, while others will be covered in the next module. So today we will be covering Alignment, Line and Paragraph Spacing, Shading and Borders. So let's move to the same document which we were discussing and this is the paragraph group so the first row will be discussed in the next module we are now focusing on alignment and spacing and shading and then borders and sorting as well for example this is a content which is written so you can see that this content is equally spaced from the left side and from the right side so such a content is known as justified however if you want that this content should be justified from left side and actually on the right side you do not want to make it justified with the same space from the right side for each of the line then you can use this left justified button after selecting the content so this means when you click on justify button so you can see that the spaces between each of the world is not even so there are some more spaces if you closely observe then you can see that sometimes there is more space between the words and there is less space like between off and scientific more space between scientific and literature more with various and aspect and so on however if you put it left justified so this means that the content is not expanded to have the same space from the right side so whatever space it is actually taking that is retained in the document and similarly you can make it as center justified as well so this is not shown in this document let's do it in this document so if you go to center justified so you have seen that this content has been moved in the center of the document right justified mean that it has been moved to the right of the document so whatever you will write now will have the same space from the right side however it is not justified from the left side and just justified means that the content is justified from the left side and justified from the right side so this means that it is taking the same space from the left side and same space from the right side however if that line has only few words as in in our case this the first line has only four words so it will not be expanded to have the same justification as of this line so if it has enough words then it will be justified from the right side as well and then there is line spacing and paragraph spacing so let's try this option on our this document so i am pressing ctrl z to perform the undo so now for example if i want to put more space between the lines so for example this line and this line should have more space or less space so let's select the lines or paragraph which you want to have different line spacing and then click on this button and at the moment it is of 1.5 scale so let's do it 1.0 so you can see that the lines have been shrinked if i go 1.5 it is expanded if i go to 2 you can see that the distance between the lines is more and if you go to 3 then the difference is even more so this was 1.5 the natural one for this document and then you can even go to more line spacing options and you can say that whenever 
you are going to start new paragraph so what should happen between the lines what should happen between the identification so for example i am saying that the text should be left ident of 0.6 scale so let's see that now all of the content has been put towards right side and 0.6 has been left from the left side so pressing control z will bring you to the same place and there are some other options which are available over here so these measurements are in inches it should be transferred one inch to the right side all right so you can see that this is the measurement of inch so left ident you can also play with this ruler to place it to the same place where you want and then there is a shading with the text for example if you click on this and press on the shading so there are different colors available so for example if you say the red color this means the selected text will have red shading and then this is very good resource like if i select this thing and select this button this button is basically the borders so i say that i need border all around this text so if i click over here so whatever i i had selected have been put under the border so you can see that the lines around it have appeared this could be one of the way to select the text using the borders and there are variety of borders available here so for example if you select this thing and you can see bottom border you can see left border and so on so such kind of borders can be added to your document so if we go over here let's try to put it here the so bottom border so this means that there is a line at the bottom of the page top right so need to click again bottom so that bottom disappears then top so there is a line at the top so this is about the paragraph group and here is another important thing known as sorting so let's try to do it so for sorting we need to first make a table so let's go into the insert tab table and for example i put it over here so this is the name of the student and let's put in the second column the marks we will be learning more about creating tables in the next modules but as we need it now to sort some of the content that's why we have done it over here so for example zishan is the second name 12 marks akbar has for example 90 marks and then for example fiza which has 45 marks and then there is ahmad which has got 100 marks so if you want to go for the sorting so let's click over here and it will ask you that from which column you want to sort so i want to sort with column number two type is number and using the paragraphs and in the descending order which means that i need the student who has got maximum marks at the top of the row so let's try to do it oh wow so the ahmad who was actually at the last place has been shifted at the first row and then 90 45 25 12 so all of the content has been sorted and uh, then there is another small thing over here which is basically to show and hide some hidden symbols so for example if i perform control z and 
press it over here so this is showing that this is a enter and then for example you have a space between introduction and of only one space so if i click another space so you can see there are two dots so these two dots are telling us that there are two spaces between off and important three spaces four spaces but if i uh, turn off this information no i don't know that whether there are three spaces or four spaces between off and important so this is very important button which can tell you the hidden enters page breaks spaces between the words and so on so today we have learned about the paragraph group and some of the topics have been discussed from paragraph group like alignment line and paragraph shading borders and sorting so we have experimented with two documents to perform practically all of these steps and in the next module we will be focusing the remaining options in paragraph group of home ribbon